Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to add Webinar Kit Registrant on FlexiFunnels form submission and send reminders on WhatsApp. So I am a business coach and I'm recently organizing a webinar. I have created a form using FlexiFunnels with the help of which all those who are interested in my webinar are going to register themselves. So here what my objective is that, that as soon as many of my people, they're going to sign up using the form that I've created using FlexiFunnels, automatically all those should be created as the registrants in my webinar kit account as I'm managing my webinar using webinar kit. And with that, I want to send all those registrants WhatsApp reminders, reminding them of the webinar that they have signed up for. And if I'm going to do this manually, it is going to take me a lot of time. So what I did was, I simply created an automation using Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So here in this automation, what we are going to learn is, with the help of FlexiFunnels, whenever any of the people are going to do the form submissions to sign them up for the webinar that I'm organizing, automatically all those users should be created as registrants in my webinar kit account. And with that, I want to send all those users WhatsApp reminders using WhatsApp AI Sensei. And for that, we are going to create an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to add Webinar Kit Registrant for FlexiFunnels form submission and send reminders on WhatsApp using AI Sensei. So I'm a business coach launching a new online course and plan to host a free webinar as a lead magnet. I create a landing page on FlexiFunnels where interested participants can sign up. With this integration, each time anyone fills out the form using FlexiFunnels, they are automatically registered to the webinar in Webinar Kit account. As the event approaches, I want to send them personalized WhatsApp reminders, boosting attendance rates and ensuring your message reaches out to our target audience effectively. And we're going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you, which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as Add Webinar Kit Registrant on FlexiFunnels form submission and send reminders on WhatsApp AI Sensei. So this is the name to my workflow that I want to give. Okay. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click right over here. So these are the folders for from which I'm going to select automations for webinars as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving my name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create an order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of Add Webinar Kit Registrant on FlexiFunnels form submissions and send reminders on WhatsApp AI Sensei and there are two windows in front of you. One over here sees trigger, other sees action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, they can only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We're going to set up our trigger step first and for the trigger application what we are going to do is we are going to select it as flexi funnels as with the help of flexi funnels i have created a landing page on which with the help of the form that i've created using flexi funnels anyone can sign up for the webinar that i'm hosting okay so that is for the trigger application i'm going to select it as flexi funnels and for the trigger event i'm going to select it as new form submission so that by any of my user a new form submission is going to be done for signing them up for the webinar that i'm hosting or 
automatically public connect should capture the response okay and after selecting the trigger application and the event you can see that public connect has provided us with the web hook url with the help of this unique web hook url we are going to connect flexi funnels to public connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk so firstly i'm going to copy this url from here after copying the url you need to open the form that you have created using flexi funnels so this is the form that i've created with the help of flexi funnels with the help of which all the users are going to register themselves sign up themselves for the webinar that i'm hosting okay so this is the form and we are going to connect this form to public connect and for connecting as this is the form and this is the form building right over here i'm going to click on this right over here and i'm going to click on the settings button as i'm going to do that this page is then going to appear in front of you and under settings over here it says connect here we are going to click on it as we're going to click on connect here the integrations window is then going to appear in front of you and under integrations it says over here webhook we are going to click on it as we're going to do that the webhook window is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the webhook name and for the webhook url so for the url i'm going to paste the webhook url that public connect has provided us and for the webhook name i'm going to give it as new webinar registration okay so this is the webhook name and the webhook url after selecting the webhook name and pasting the webhook url i'm going to click on the save button right over here as i've done that the webhook has now been saved successfully so i'm going to click on this x button right over here so as we have added the webhook to this form that we have created using flexi funnels so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our workflow and we're going to scroll down it is saying waiting for webhook response so now what we are going to do is with the help of flexi funnels we are going to do a test form submission and we're going to check whether public connect captures the response of the form submission being done or not for that i'm going to open the form that i've created using flexi funnels for doing that what we are going to do is we're going to click on this preview button right over here as i've clicked on the preview button this is the preview you can see right over here here of the form that i've created using flexi funnels this form that i've created is not live right now it's just a draft so that is why i'm going to do a test submission right over here but if you have a live form then you're going to have the response of the registrant who are going to register themselves in the webinar okay so as this is a preview i'm going to do a test submission with the test details of the registrants okay it is asking for the full name of my user so for the full name over here i'm going to write it as test demo 0 okay for the email over here i'm going to write it as test demo 0 at the rate pablitudes.com and for the phone number i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number after filling all the details i'm going to click on submit to do the test submission the test submission has now been done successfully so now i'm going to open my workflow and i'm going to check whether public and it has captured the response of this test submission being done or not for that i'm going to open my workflow and i'm going to scroll down and yes you can see over here in our workflow we have received a response of the test submission that we have done let us tally the response for the name being test demo 0 over here for the phone number a dummy mobile number country code as the country code right over here for the email as test demo 0 at the rate pablitudes.com so this means that flexi funnels is now successfully connected to public connect and a trigger setup is done so now whenever by any of the user a form submission is going to be done using flexi funnels automatically public and it is going to capture the response now we have to register this user as a registrant in our webinar kit account as with the help of webinar kit i am managing my webinar so for that we go to set up our action step and for the action application we are going to select it as webinar kit okay and for the action event as new webinar registration as we are going to do the registration in the webinar that we have created using webinar kit okay after that we are going to click on connect to connect webinar kit and public connect a new window is going to appear on which you can add the connection or else you can select the existing connection after that it is asking for the token with the help of which we are going to connect webinar kit to public connect for that open a webinar kit account so this is my webinar kit account and i have created a webinar in the name of public webinar as you can see right over here and i am managing this webinar with the help of webinar kit and i want to create registrants registrations for this webinar right over here okay so now to have the access to token with the help of webinar kit we have to click on our profile button and on settings right over here as we go to do that we are going to scroll down it says api access and this is the token right over here so i'm going to copy this token from here and i'm going to paste this token in my public connect right over here and then click on the save button As you can see that webinar kit has now been successfully connected to public connect. After that it is asking for the webinar ID. So as I've already told you I'm hosting a webinar in the name of Pabli webinar which I am organizing with the help of webinar kit. And I want to create registrants for this webinar right over here that is Pabli webinar. So what I'm going to do is for the webinar ID I'm going to select it as Pabli webinar, okay? Next it is asking for the registrants email address. So the email address of our registrant what we are going to do is we are going to map the data 
data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we go to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow and how mapping works is that as soon as i'm going to click on this field it says flexi funnels new form submission this was the previous step of this workflow and as i'm going to click on it this was the same response that was captured in our previous step as it is asking for the email address from my previous response we have received the email address of the user who want to register themselves in the webinar that we are hosting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the data from my previous response as i selected the data the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over in place of this map data is going to be updated okay next it is asking for the first name and the last name of our user the registrant that we are creating so in my previous response i have received the full name of my user that is test demo 0 i want the first name and the last name separately so what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step in this workflow to create a separation between the first name and the last name and for the action event we are going to select it as text formatter by pabli with the help of this amazing feature by pabli connect we can format the text according to our requirement and for the action event i'm going to select it as split text as i want to split the first name with the last name okay and then i'm going to click on this connect button after that it is asking for us to select the text that we want to split so the text to split i'm going to map the date of the name that we want to split right over here from my previous response okay as i want to split the first name and the last name and i want to split this first name and the last name with the help of the space given here in the middle of the first name and last name so the separator as we want to separate these two texts with the help of the space in the help desk it says how we have to enter the space right away so i'm going to call copy this from here and I'm going to paste it right over here as I want to separate it with the help of the space okay and for the segment index as I want the first name and the last name both so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as all and then I'm going to click on the save and send test request button as we're going to do that we're going to receive a response of the first name and the last name separately so now what we're going to do is from my previous response I'm going to map the date of the first name and the last name separately from my previous results okay I've mapped the data next it is asking for the country code of our phone number so I'm going to map the date of the country code over here in the country code we don't have the plus sign so what i'm going to do is i'm going to manually enter the plus sign right over here okay next it is asking for the phone number so i'm going to map the date of the phone number right over here next it is asking for the custom field one two three four and five i don't require these fields so i'm going to skip the part it is asking for the webinar presentation date so in my previous response we have not received the webinar date on which the webinar is actually been organized okay if you want in this form that you have created you can add a drop down of the date of the webinar on which you are organizing so you're going to receive the result in our previous step okay but as i have not added the field in this form that i've created right over here and we want to have the webinar presentation date as it is required right over here so what we are going to do is we're going to add another action step to this workflow okay and for the action application we are going to select it as date slash time formatter by Pabli as now we're going to format the date with the time with the help of this amazing feature okay and for the action event I'm going to select it as format date with time zone and then I'm going to click on this connect button okay as I've done that it is asking for the date that we want to change the format and time zone off so in my webinar kit account I am hosting a webinar on 30th August 2024 for the time being 12 p.m. of American New York time zone so what we are going to do is we are now going to have the data right over here of the date and how we're going to enter the date I'm going to manually enter the date right over here as we don't have the response of the webinar when we are hosting so for the date over here I'm going to write it as so the date I've entered is 30th that is 08-2024 for 12-0000 okay so this is the date of the event that I'm organizing okay it is asking for the from format as the format that I've written this date is in DDMMYYYY H H M M and S S. So for the from format over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as this format that is D D M M Y Y Y Y H H M M and S S. So I'm going to select this from format right over here. And for the to format, as over here in this help desk, it says we have to enter the data in an UTC time zone format right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to select the to format right over here as the UTC time zone format. Okay. After that, it is asking for the from time zone as the time zone on which the webinar has been organized is American New York right over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select over here the time zone as 
America, New York. Okay, so this is the from time zone. And for the two time zone, I'm going to select it as the UTC time zone format as you want the data in a UTC time zone format. Okay, after filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As we go to do that, we're going to receive a result of the event date in a UTC time zone format right over here. You can see that with the time as well. Okay, so I have manually entered the data of the date of the event right over here. Okay, as I don't have the result in my pre response so that I can map it. But if you want to create this workflow for multiple events, then you can add a field in this form right over here with the date so that you can receive a result and you can map it according to your requirement. Okay, and if you want to create this workflow for different events, then you have to change the date right over here according to your requirements. Okay, so as now we have the result of the date of the webinar that we are hosting so we are going to map the data of that date right over here in place of the webinar presentation date okay after filling all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request button as i'm going to do that we have received a response with the status over here it says us okay this is a positive response so now i'm going to open my webinar kit account and i'm going to check whether a new registration has been done in my webinar kit account or not for that i'm going to open my webinar kit account and to check whether the registration has been done successfully, I'm going to go back to my webinar kit dashboard. I'm going to click on this arrow right over here and then click on view analytics right over here. If then I'm going to scroll down. You can see you can have the details of all the registrations that has been done under this webinar right over here. And if you're going to scroll down, you can see a new registration for test demo zero at the rate pablitudes.com with the name as test last name as demo zero with the dummy mobile number is been created in my webinar kit account under the webinar pably webinar right over here. So this means that so this means that we successfully created a registration in our webinar kit account with the help of the response that we have received using flexi funnels. Okay, so now as we have created a registration in our webinar kit account we want to send that registrant whatsapp reminders using whatsapp ai sensi so how are we going to do that we are going to set up our action step by click on this plus button i want to send reminders a day before and an hour before the event the webinar that i'm organizing and for that as we want to send reminders we have to add a delay in this workflow a day before an hour before of the webinar event that we have organized so we're going to set up our action step and for the action application we are going to select it as delay by pably with the help of this amazing feature by pably connect we are going to create a delay in this workflow so that we can send reminders according to requirements for the action event we are going to select it as add delay time as now we could add a delay time in this workflow okay then i'm going to click on this connect button over here it says how much delay do you want to put in your workflow i'm going to select over here as delay until as i want to delay this workflow until a specific date and time okay and for the delay date and time we have to enter the date and time in this format that is yyy mm dd hh mm ss in this format in a utc time zone format we have to enter the date and time so for having the format we are going to add another action step in this workflow and for the action application we are going to select it as date slash time for matter by pably and for the action event we are going to select it as add slash subtract time as now we are going to add or subtract the time from the events date that we have organized okay then we are going to click on this connect button over here it is asking for the date that we want to add or subtract the time from so for the date over here as we have received the date we have taken out the date on which the webinar has been organized you can see right over here so I am going to map the date of the date right over here it is 30th August 2024 for the time in a UTC time zone format okay it is asking for the expression the amount of time that we want to either add or subtract from this date right over here as I want to add a delay a day before the event so what I want to do is I will write it as minus one day as I want to subtract the day from the date of the event right over here okay for the two format as we want the format of the date to be in a format that is yy mm dd hh mm and ss so what we are going to do is we are going to select the two format right over here as yy mm dd hh mm mm and ss okay so this is the two format and for the from format as we have entered the date in a utc time zone format so we go to enter the date right over here in a utc time zone format that is right over here okay after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request button 
as i'm going to do that we have received result in the result we have received the date that is 29th of august 2024 29024 for the time being 16 this is a utc time zone format okay so this is the date a day before they went that is 29th of august so what we are going to do is now we're going to map the date of this result in this delay date right over here okay so delay is going to be created until the date that is 29th of august 2024 for the timing right over here okay after that i'm going to click on the save and send test request button it says that this delay status is comes as success and the delays until the date and the time that we want it so as now the delays added to this workflow now this workflow is going to be continued from this first step till the webinar kit registration step right over here okay and after that as we have added the delay this workflow is then going to be continued according to the time and the date that we have entered in this delay okay and as now we want to send a whatsapp reminder to our registrant so we're going to add another action step and we're going to be sending the whatsapp reminder with the help of ai sensei okay as i've created a message template using that so for the action application what i'm going to do is i'm going to select it as whatsapp ai sensei I'm going to select this action application and I'm going to select the action event as send template message as now we're going to send a template message using WhatsApp by AI SNC. Okay. After that, I'm going to click on this connect button and your window is going to appear on which click on add new connection or else you can select the existing connection. After that, it is asking for the API key with the help of which we are going to connect WhatsApp by AI SNC to public connect. For having the access of the API key, you have to open the WhatsApp by AI SNC account. So this is my AI Sensei account and to have the access of the token from the left side of the bar, we have to click on this manage button right over here. As we're going to do that, under this manage, you can see it says API key, we're going to click on it and an API key is going to be presented in front of us. I'm going to click on this regenerate API key, click on confirm. I'm going to copy this key from here and I'm going to paste this key right over here in my Pabli Connect account. And then I'm going to click on this save button. As you can see that WhatsApp by AI Sensei is connected to Pabli Connect. After that, it is asking for us to select the campaign name, mobile number, and all the other details for the campaign name first we are going to create a campaign in our whatsapp ai sensi account okay and on the left side of the panel it says campaigns we are going to click on it and to create a new campaign you have to click on this launch button right over here okay under this if we have to select the campaign time which is going to be api campaign so i'm going to click on this next button it is asking for the campaign name so for the campaign name over here i want the campaign name to be reminder message okay so this is the campaign name that i want next it is asking for us to select a template so i've created a message template using ai sensei so for the template over here i'm going to select that template that i've created so the name of the template that i've given is reminder template so i'm going to select this template right over here okay and then i'm going to click on this set live button and i'm going to click on this go to campaign right over here so this is the message template that i've created you can see right over here and this is a reminder message template you can see it says pabli webinar is just around the corner hello next to hello i've added a variable and in place of this variable i will be adding the name of my registrant okay so that i can send them the personalized reminder message okay so that is why i've added this variable it says thank you for registering for our upcoming webinar pabli webinar we are excited to have you join us the date the date of the webinar the time right over here don't forget to mark your calendar this webinar will cover all the important points and it's packed with insights that you won't have to miss if you have any questions or need assistance and feel free to reply to this message looking forward to seeing you there thank you best regards so this is the message that i want to send to my registrants as a whatsapp reminder okay so now what we are going to do is for the campaign name as it is asking right over here we have given a name to our campaign as reminder message so i'm going to copy this name from here and i'm going to paste this name right over here that is the reminder message i'm going to erase the existing data so this is the campaign name okay it is asking for the mobile number on which we want to send a whatsapp message to so for the mobile number i'm going to map the date of the mobile number of my registrant right over here okay next it is asking for the username to whom we want to send the campaign message to so for the username i'm going to map the date of the name of my registrant right over in place of the username it is asking for the source as i don't have any source i'm going to skip the part similarly for the tags if you want to add such tags in this workflow right away you can add over here according to your requirement next it is saying template parameter so this is the variable that i've created in this you can see right away this is the same variable so as in the place of the variable i want the name of my registrant so what i'm going to do is in place of this template parameter i'm going to map the date of the name of my registrant okay next 
it is asking for the attributes i do not require the field so i'm going to skip the part similarly for the url in the file name as i don't have the attached url or file to this template so i'm going to skip all the part okay after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on this save and send test request button as I've done that, the status comes as over here as true and it says we have the ID right over here. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp account and I'm going to check whether I have received a WhatsApp message using AI Sensei as a WhatsApp reminder for my webinar or not. For that, I'm going to open the WhatsApp account. And yes, you can see right over here, we have received a WhatsApp message. It says, Pabli webinar is just around the corner. Hello, test demo zero. So this is the name of the registrant right over here. And this is the message of the reminding them that we have the webinar waiting for them on the date and the time right over here. So as we have done the save and send test request right over here, that is why we have received the message right now. But this message is going to be delivered as per the delay that you have applied over here. Okay, so as we have forwarded a reminder a day before the event similarly we want to send another reminder an hour before the event as well so what we are going to do is we are going to add another delay in this workflow so we're going to set up our action step and for the action application i'm going to select it as delay by pabli and for the action event as add delay time then i'm going to click on this connect button for how much time do you want to delay i'm going to select it as delay until and for the delay date with this format we have to add another action step to this workflow and the action application that we are going to select is going to be date slash time formatter by pabli as now we're going to subtract an hour before the event from the date that we want okay and for the action event i'm going to select it as add and subtract time and then i'm going to click on this connect button for the date that we want to add or subtract time from we have received the date of the event so i'm going to select that data from here for the expression over here i want to subtract an hour before the event right away so i'm going to write it as minus one hour okay for the two format as we want to format to be in a yyy mm dd hhmm ss format so i'm going to select that and for the from format Format, I'm going to select the UTC time zone format after filling in all the required details I'm going to click on the save and send test request button we have received the date you can see right away it's an hour before here right over here with the date as 30th August 2024 so for the delay over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to map this result that we have received in our previous step that is right away I'm going to select this data okay I map the date of the delay date right over here then I'm going to click on this save and send test request button the status comes out success it sees the delays until the date that we want it so now the delay has been added and hour before the event as well and now we want to send another whatsapp reminder using whatsapp by ai sensei so we're going to add another action step and for the action application what we are going to do is we are going to select it as whatsapp by ai sensei and for the action event we are going to select as send template message as with the help of the template that we have created we are going to send the message okay then i'm going to click on this connect button and as of the existing connection i'm going to select the option but if you want you can add a new connection then i'm going to click on the save button after that it is asking for the campaign name i've given a campaign name in the name of reminder message so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this name from here and i'm going to paste it right over here i'm going to erase this existing data from here okay so this is the campaign name that is reminder message for the mobile number i'm going to map the date of the mobile number on which i want to send a whatsapp reminder message to so i've mapped the date of the mobile number of my registrant okay for the username i'm going to map the date of the username of my registrant right over here i do not require the field for the source and tag so i'm going to skip the part template parameter is a variable that i've created in this template that i've created so for the template parameter i want the name of my registrant so i'm going to map the data of it okay it is asking for the attributes url and the final file name i don't require the field so i'm going to skip the part and after filling all the required details i'm going to click on this save and send test request button as i've done that the status comes over here as true this means a whatsapp message has been forwarded on my number so now i'm going to open my whatsapp and i'm going to check whether i have received a new whatsapp message or not for that i'm going to open my whatsapp and yes you can see i've received another reminder right over here for test demo zero right over here with the reminder of the event that we have organized with the details of the event and time right over here so this means that we fully created an automation with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i'm a business coach and i'm organizing a webinar very soon so here i have created a form with the help of flexi funnels with the help of which all my users are going to sign up for the webinar that i'm organizing my objective is that, that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by any of my users using flexi funnels i want to add that user as a registrant in my webinar kit account as i'm managing my webinar using webinar kit and as the registration is then going to be completed i want to send whatsapp reminders to all of my registrants 
a day before and an hour before the webinar that I've organized. And I will be sending the WhatsApp messages using WhatsApp by AI Sensei. Okay. And for that, I've created this amazing automation between all of these applications with the help of Babbly Connect. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us an email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.